Hey guys, welcome to my Coachella Diaries. This is day one, and the reason I'm voiceovering this is because I actually did not vlog day one, but I still wanted you to experience it with me a little bit. So first, we went to Coachella, and we saw Harry Styles. We stayed in a gated community, and we did not know how to get over the gate. Like, it didn't unlock, so we just climbed this gate every single day when we got there to go out and to go back. It was um, interesting. Then we went to Coachella. This is where we went and saw Harry. He performed at 12 a.m., which is way past my bedtime, but I stayed up for Harry. And then Shania Twain came out, which was the most iconic thing ever. So I was so happy I stayed up and then we walked home. And then this is day two. All right, it's day two Coachella. Let us I'm explain. Unwell. We're not well because we just did day one and I didn't vlog day one on purpose because I just wanted like one day to like. For you? Yeah, because you know it's like crazy as <laughs> like doing this. You guys, I don't even drink alcohol. It feels like you're feel hungover. hungover. It's like a tired hungover. You know like when you're exhausted that like, you wake up the next day and you're like, I'm still tired? We're so tired. We had to literally walk back to our, can we talk about that? Look at all our cute wristbands. Hella Chella. Coachella. <laughs> Chella girls. Chella girlies. girlies. We've been saying Coachella girlies all day. Went to our Airbnb. We got glam, which took us a couple hours. It took us hours. It took us hours. Like hours. Cause it's Coachella glam. Cause you want it to be like actually good. And the thing is at Coachella, it's hot here. So you have to make it last long. So there's a couple extra steps you need to add into the routine. Yeah. It's a couple steps. Yeah, it's a couple steps. And rhinestones take longer. And outfits had to be tried on. It yeah. was a lot. So yeah. then we went to Coachella. After that, we got there at like 7. And then we stayed till midnight when Harry Styles went on. I love him. Ah! But daddy, I love him. And then Shania Twain came out. That, I blacked out. I blacked out. We blacked out at that one. It went dark and it went... And I was like, oh, Harry's going to perform her song. Oh, I knew she was and then coming. She fucking I knew she was coming. Rises like a phoenix from the ashes. A phoenix from the ashes. That was like someone I've always wanted to see my whole life uh, in concert. And she looked so beautiful. Like, Oh, she looked. Oh, my God. Good. When she goes really and when she good. grabs like Harry and does this. So we're like, do we walk to our place? That's like a mile and a half away. Mm -hmm. Or do we wait for like almost three hours? So we walked. So we walked. Because our feet were so bad, we I even wore we couldn't Air wait. I couldn't wait. I couldn't. I was wearing boots, and I have the worst blister on my foot. Like yeah. I cannot walk. It's okay. Well. We only have two more days of yeah. this. <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm excited for today. Today's like the partyish day. So today we're getting breakfast, and then we're gonna go back and get ready, and then we're going to Revolve Fest, and then we're going to Coachella, and then mm -hmm. we're going to Neon Carnival. So mm -hmm. we're going to three parties. <laughs> And that's not, like, we also have, like, so many other events that we could go to today if we wanted. Mm hmm But I'm, like, I think Revolve's I don't know if we one. can even fucking do it. No, because, like, like, Revolve's going to get too packed and too busy. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Come with us and, yeah. Join the journey. Join the journey. Join the journey and Jane and Jane. Coachella day two. We are starting day two off with climbing our gate to head to the Revolve Fest. We're on our way to the Revolve Festival. Oh my goodness, so And we have CJ. Hey! Almost done. We're Yeah, you're like black streets again. <laughs> no. Not again. No, no, no. Black no. Not black streets again. Um, we're heading to the festival, you guys. And we don't know what else. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> Everyone here, this girl's outfit is so cute, I'm dead. But and everyone here takes pictures from Ferris wheel. I got some myself, so I will be fitting in. Manny got some Ferris wheel pictures. I'm literally like, the sand just hit me. Look how pretty my boots look, they're so pretty. Do you like the color of my boots too? I love them. They're the shade of spilled drink and yeah, dust. Yes. <laughs> this is CJ's guy, by the way. I'm vlogging. CJ, you're a part of my vlog. So this is Revolve. If you haven't seen the inside, a lot of photo ops, a lot of little stations to get food, water, drinks. It's really cute. I really enjoy going here because I get to kind of mingle with more of my influencer friends and get to chat with people that I know. Whereas the festival is really big and chaotic, but yeah, it's really beautiful at the Revolve Fest. Tons of photo opportunities. Next up, we're gonna head on over to Coachella. It is 
right. Okay, guys, we're at Coachella day two, but like day two. this but more chill day. Yeah, I changed outfits. He chill. changed outfits. I changed as well. So it's Saturday I'm night. I'm not even limped, right? I wanted to be trade tonight, you know. I'll put. I want to make out with someone. I'll the, put. The guard hit on I'll me. put a definition of what that means. Uh, the guard hit on me. The security. The guard. guard. The security guard did. Laura witnessed it. I did. It did happen. I'm not just It saying. happened. He wanted it. It really did. He's not gonna get it, but he wanted it. He wanted it. Maybe I wasn't no. interested. Um, so we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we're gonna go to Neon Carnival. And my feet hurt really bad. Someone told us that Molly water last night. We were like, no, oh, got, there's I, a lighting! I, I, got, I got scared because I thought I was drinking the Molly water. I'm not oh yeah, we got artist passes, so it's kind of sickening. Thank you, YouTube. We're behind the scenes right now. Thank you, Thank you YouTube. YouTube. Okay, so this is behind the scenes with an artist pass. This is behind the stages. They have a bunch of different cool opportunities to get in Coachella through here. You can stand closer up to the stage. And they have a couple of, of cute little venues. Like here is the YouTube lounge um, where a lot of creators hang out. I mean, anyone can hang out here if you have an artist pass and they have drinks and some food. Now we headed on into the festival to see Meg The Stallion and then on to Neon Carnival. Have you guys ever wondered what the bar is like at Coachella? That's what it's like. Here's my OOTD of the night, and now we are headed to our last festival, Neon Carnival. Welcome to Neon Carnival, you guys. This place is like a rave at like in the middle of the night. It's so wild here. I can't even handle it. <laughs> we did stay here to like 3 a.m., which is way, way, way past my bedtime, but that's okay. You know, it's the Coachella spirit, and we saw so many people. It's so random, like how many people are here. Like, it's just so crazy. This is normally the Coachella after party. Okay guys, it is day three at Coachella. We are going to Revolve Festival today, and then we're gonna come back here and pack and then head back late tonight um, because we have to film the podcast in the morning. We have a guest and we gotta get up and get there on Monday morning, so we really gotta cut our trip a little bit short. It has been so much fun. We're gonna pop into um, revolve. We're not going to go into Coachella today just because we don't have time to do both, but I can't wait just to pop in. Um, it's so fun. I see a lot of my friends there. A lot of people I don't get to see a lot because people travel, travel in um, here to be here. That's also why I like going there a lot, but I'm just trying to pack up a little bit before we get going. This is today's OOTD. Very festival attire. It's so hard to vlog in festival because it's like blasting music and it'll, I'll get a copyright strike so I can't I can barely like vlog me like talking to camera that's why it's more like just like footage of me being there it's also very chaotic and people screaming and loud so it's also hard to hear me but if you're wondering why like the footage of me actually in the festivals is a little bit lame that would be why we're headed back tonight I'm so sad this trip went by so fast but I had a really 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 good time Oh my God, I'm back from Coachella and it's time to actually unpack my bag. <sighs> this part sucks. I think packing could be worse than unpacking. I don't know. Look at this little nugget. Hi, baby. Oh my goodness. We're home. All right, I'm home from Coachella. Let's talk a little bit about it. So this was my fifth Coachella. I would say I'm a pretty prepared person when it comes to Coachella. Like it's not my first rodeo, if you will. I'm an experienced Coachella-er. One of those influencers that go to Coachella and treat it like a fashion show. I'm one of those people. I get why people get mad though, because like I've seen a lot of negativity about influencers at Coachella because people are like, it used to be this music festival where it was all about the music and now it's all about influencers in a fashion show. So I get it. Like I get why people hate that influencers go to Coachella. Like I'm not arguing that case. You can still go to Coachella and wear whatever you want and enjoy the music. The concerts are still happening and actually all the influencers and everyone's out there dancing and listening to the music. But the fashion show thing is still happening. So if that frustrates you, I get it. <laughs> but I think everybody, like as long as you're not like affecting other people, like should live their own life and do what that makes them happy. And what makes me happy is having fun with my friends, listening to music, getting dressed up and having a good time. Here's a couple things if you go to Coachella. Uh, one, you wanna stay really close to the festival. Coachella is not in Palm Springs, it's in Indio, California. Palm Springs is about 45 minutes away. A lot of people book their rooms and stuff in Palm Springs thinking they're going to be close to Coachella. It's not in Palm Springs. I've done it before. It's a rookie mistake. But I mean, you got to do what you got to do. If you got to stay in Palm Springs, you're just going to be in the car a lot. 
because of the traffic and getting to the festival and getting back is gonna be really difficult. So I don't recommend it. We stayed right across the street from the festival. I've done that a few times. It's key because you typically can't get an Uber out of the festival because it gets so, it, it literally gets so crazy. By the way, plugging full coverage, we do a full Coachella episode that's going live this Friday where we're gonna tell you a lot of the tea that happened. By the way, I met so many of my subscribers and people who have followed me for a long time. I love you guys. I love meeting you guys. It's so cool to get to like see you guys in person. But anyways, out of my time on Friday, me and Manny got ready, ordered Postmates at our Airbnb, and then we went straight to Coachella all Friday night. Friday night was the night. Friday night, we wanted to see Harry Styles. Shania Twain came out. You guys, Shania Twain came out. Shania Twain. I'm a big country music fan, but pretty much to like country music that is the older stuff. Very that, you know, little Garth Brooks, Kenny Chesney, Alan Jackson, Travis Tritt, Trisha Yearwood. Like I'm very that in country music. I actually just got invited to Stagecoach and I'm not gonna go because I don't think I can physically do it. And then I got invited to Coachella weekend too and I also just canceled that. I'm not gonna go because I'm not strong enough. I thought I would be and I was signed up for all these things and I'm like, no, I can't do it. So I had to bail out because I already know it's just like too much with work to go away, to go out there and like party for that many weekends in a row. But Coachella weekend one is the main festival that's the craziest. I've gone to Coachella weekend two and I've gone to Stagecoach before. They're amazing, so much fun, but like I can't do it all. I gotta get back to work, if you will. I had a really good time. So anyways, Friday we stayed, we watched Harry, Shania Twain came out, iconic. I screamed till I lost my voice. If you leave Coachella after the last act, which the last act, goes on at 12 a.m. always on the main stage. Like we're talking hundreds of thousands of people hurting out of a festival. You're never gonna get a ride. So this is the part where you need to stay close to Coachella because me and Manny had to do like a 30 minute walk and it was freezing cold, which is part of, it's part of the experience, you know, the desert life. So we walked home and we were so like honestly walking in the freezing cold dressed half naked like we were so like the whole time we were like we're so lucky we get we get to walk to our house like these people are gonna stay and we have to wait for an uber for like five hours or like figure something out there's like people everywhere on the sides of the street trying to get a ride and we just get to walk we were like we're the luckiest people in the world like walking in the freezing cold saturday was crazy day we went to revolve festival there was a lot of dra uh, drama surrounding that the problem is to get into revolve you have to go to a shuttle pickup and they do that because they screen you through security and they screen your wristband there you have to get on a they're like charter buses and the way it works is revolve gives vip wristbands to influencer in exchange for some social media posts and free clothing so if you see a lot of influencers posting Revolve Festival pictures, it's because they're fulfilling their obligations to attend. I go to Revolve Fest every year. It's so much fun. It's literally as if you plucked a lot of celebrities and all the influencers out of Coachella and put them in one festival. And you can also buy a ticket if you wanna meet influencers and go. They're like $180 totally buy your own ticket and go. But what people don't know is like every year they invite every party at Coachella invites over capacity because they want their parties to be blown out and filled. And it says on every invitation that even though your name's on the list, if we reach capacity, you will not be let in. Like it always disclaims that. Revolve doesn't disclaim that, which maybe they should just start disclaiming. Like that's pretty much what happens. They oversell. Every party does it though, not just Revolve Coachella culture. They oversell tickets to fulfill the party and then not everybody can get in and then people are devastated. So that's kind of what happened. But on day two, on Sunday, they figured it out. They got everybody in. I didn't wait to get in because every year it's like that with Revolve and we got to the shuttle place early, which is what you have to do to get in, which this is so crazy, I know, but you do. And we didn't even wait in line. We just hopped right on the bus and went. So it's annoying, but like that's kind of what goes on. And then after that, we went to Coachella Coachella, hung out. Saturday is always the busiest day at Coachella. And then after that, we went to Neon Carnival, which is something uh, me and Mandy got invited to. And then on Sunday, we just went to Revolve Fest and went home because we had to film the podcast early Monday morning. I'm always down for a good time, but I always like put my work schedule like first. Like if something's coming up, like I'm not gonna go get blackout drunk on Sunday and just not show up Monday. Like I will leave and like be sure I'm prepped and ready. Like I didn't have one drink on Sunday because I was like, I need to be prepped for Monday like I'm good to go but anyways I'm home now I'm unpacking <laughs> I've just did my second load of laundry I just did my lights now I'm doing my dark and I uh, just got a couple things to put away so just come help me come Yoshi you have to move today look at these little legs you can't just lie here all day with your belly 
Yeah, my girl. I'm obsessed with my animals. All right, let's unpack my bag. Alrighty, this is like stuff that didn't make the cut. This set's so cute, it's from Fashion Nova. I bought it for Coachella, but I didn't wear it. But I did wear it in silver, but I sat in something sticky and it's like disgusting. Also, it left like black all over me. Like this, the metal color rubbed off all over my body, so that was gross. Didn't wear this black dress. I always pack extra outfits depending on how many events we're gonna go to. So I have like outfit changes because like I wore three different outfits on Sunday. I didn't wear this cool top, it got wrinkled, I hate that. I didn't wear this cool jacket. All the clothes I did wear are in the wash right now. This set is so cool, I have pants that match it I didn't wear. I was gonna wear a neon carnival but I didn't end up getting to change. Actually I wore two outfits then on Sunday. Bandanas to cover my face for the dust, which I didn't really use. You guys, I got back from Neon Carnival, I looked in the mirror. I was like, let me see what I look like. I looked crazy because the dust and the wind was blowing so strong in my face. I did not realize, like I guess I had like gloss like around here, like lip product and the dirt and dust stuck to it. So it looked like I had a dirt mustache. I was like, oh my God. But at least it was dark. It was really dark. So I don't think anyone saw. I mean, even if they did, who really cares? But I was like, this is not okay. <laughs> saw a comment on one of my posts. It was like, wow. Coachella is nothing but influencers trying to wear as least clothes as possible. And like, I agree with that. Um, here's the top to my set that I wore to Neon Carnival. My hair extensions are very, very sad. They went through a lot of dust and debris. I probably need to wash these bad boys. I have to go to Gigi Gorgeous's birthday party tonight. It's in West Hollywood. And I need to wear that hair. So I'm about to wear some dusty extensions. Here's the top to my pink set. Brought a bunch of these like cool lacy bras I was gonna wear, but I didn't end up wearing any of them. Hair straightener by GHD. This is the best hair straightener ever. GHD tools are expensive, but they are worth the splurge. That's all I can say. They are worth every penny of the splurge. Plus they'll last you forever. Curling iron I've had forever. It's by Kristen S. Best steamer ever. I think I got it off Amazon or something and I'll link it. But this thing I take everywhere with me because you just put a little bit of water in it and it heats up like that and it will get all the wrinkles out of your clothes. So I never care like if my clothes get wrinkly when I pack because I always bring this with me every photo shoots, everything. Even whenever I get in new clothing or like new blazers, I hit it with that really quick in my closet. Boom, ready to go. I brought these low rise Spanx from Skims and I really thought that I was gonna wear them and that just did not happen. Brought all these cute necklaces that I didn't get to wear because they didn't really go with my outfits. For some reason, I thought it was a good idea to pack all my earrings in a Fendi box. Here are a few pair of the sunglasses I brought. These but they sit crooked on my face. And then I like a dork. These are my favorite. I think I got these like at a cheap boutique somewhere. So cute. V-E-U-X, I think they're from White Fox Boutique. Adorable. They're kind of dorky on me, I feel, but they're cute. Like a hippie moment piece. And these are Millie Bobby Brown's collab with Vogue sunglasses. And they're like mediocre, like they're pretty good. They're okay. Shein rubber bands are the best thing ever. They're like a dollar and I use them every day to put braids in my hair. A brush and then this is from Amazon. And then I brought my platform Converse's. These are some of my favorite sneakers, but I wore these just around to run errands and to drive down there. I didn't want to mess them up. I didn't think it was worth messing them up to wear. So I wore my Air Forces because I could like wipe those down because these are fabric. I did wear these boots on the last day. They're so nice, so cute. Erin got me these for Christmas. They're by Jeffrey Camel. I'll try to find them and link them, but they're from Nordstrom, but I got them a while back. Any questions on these boots? They're from the 12th Tribe. I found them on an Instagram ad and I pre-ordered them for Coachella and they were so, like for the, as long as I stood in these, they were so comfy. Really, really cute in my outfits. I think they were like a hundred bucks and I was able to wipe them off. They're still kind of filthy, but like I was able to clean them so easy. So these were amazing purchase. So bummed my camera died and I'm gonna call it quits because I want to edit this video and get it up for you guys. But thank you so much for watching. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and join my YouTube fam channel. Bye guys.